Guided by APA President Dr. Jennifer Kelly and policy and resolutions passed by the APA Council of Representatives, including the groundbreaking resolutions on immigration and COVID-19, APA is moving into 2021 as a stronger organization that is more nimble, more effective, more globally focused, and is having more impact. Nobody could have predicted the way the world would change in 2020. From a global pandemic to a national reawakening to the daily horrors of systemic racism, there's never been a time when psychologists and their expertise in human behavior were more relevant and needed. APA's mission and strategic plan set ambitious goals that are serving as beacons as we navigate through the aftermath of 2020 into 2021. In August, Council passed a resolution on psychology's understanding of the challenges related to the COVID-19 global pandemic in the United States. That resolution offers a framework for the Association's continued and intensive efforts in this area. We have highlighted psychological science to help people deal with stress, anxiety, and grief, and developed specific resources to address common challenges like overcoming financial stress and dealing with social isolation. We have focused the nation on the impact of stress through APA's award-winning Stress in America project, assessing patterns in America's stress levels over time, and giving people tools to cope and build resilience. We have helped healthcare professionals cope as they stand on the front lines of the pandemic, developing a toolkit of science-backed self-care resources specifically designed to help this critical population manage seemingly unimaginable stress and anxiety on the job. We've helped parents navigate new stresses as they adjust to changing routines with resources that address home learning, healthy habits in quarantine, and helping kids cope with change. We've helped employers and workers stay psychologically healthy and productive as many were forced to quickly adapt to remote work and others faced unexpected unemployment and financial crises. And we're sharing our science with decision makers to support not only vaccine uptake and dissemination, but to help employers keep their workforce physically and psychologically safe when they ultimately return to the workplace. We've helped teachers transition to virtual learning with free lesson plans and psychology-based guidelines to help ensure that students stay on track. And we've helped leaders and legislators understand the research behind people's behavior and communicate more effectively with constituents throughout the crisis while managing their own stress, partnering with groups like the National League of Cities and the National Governors Association. APA has also helped people better understand the health disparities surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. We launched Equity Flattens the Curve to build a community of leaders and experts dedicated to participating in advocacy efforts addressing equity issues related to COVID-19. And we're working with the new administration to ensure that psychologists and our research and scientific expertise are at the table and influencing decisions. Today, we face an urgent challenge as an association, discipline, profession, and as individual psychologists to bring our expertise to bear on the many critical issues affecting the field and broader society as the world works to achieve a new normal. Issues like discrimination, racism, and long-standing social, economic, and political inequalities, from police brutality to the disproportionate spread of the coronavirus among black and brown people to the soaring unemployment rates in communities of color. And of course, the inequities our nation has created and perpetuated that lead to poorer outcomes for people of color, now exacerbated by the pandemic. APA worked to make psychological science and its applications to real-world bias, discrimination, and trauma highly visible, including the science on racial bias, which we featured at the APA 2020 virtual convention in an event with the NFL, and on a very popular Facebook Live event with APA leadership. And of course, APA is supporting the psychologists who do the important work that helps the world cope. With most practitioners needing to pivot from in-person practice to telehealth, APA quickly developed resources to make the transition smooth, from guidance to free training, which more than 35,000 psychologists took part in. And our advocacy efforts helped ensure that psychologists were able to provide telehealth services, including audio only, to as many people as possible. Preserving this flexibility as the nation continues to fight this pandemic is part of our 2021 advocacy agenda to strengthen the role of psychologists in achieving health equity. APA has asked Congress to provide $25 billion in financial assistance to researchers, and we're working to garner support for crucial research that will help improve the country's response to the current crisis and future pandemics. And we have fought to protect the future of psychology, ensuring that psychology students have the tools they need to continue their educations. 
From a virtual convention that topped the charts with almost 15,000 attendees from 101 countries, to our work to educate people on the importance of integrating psychological science into effective technology use, design, and innovation, to our conversations with the nation's top scientists and decision makers that utilize cutting-edge psychological research and data, APA is elevating the public's understanding of, regard for, and use of psychology. As the world continues to transform, APA will continue to ensure that psychology and psychologists are front and center, making a real impact on a world that needs us now more than ever.